and is ready to do some great work today. Uh, for our format, we are going to be doing circuit style. So we have five exercises for the upper body, five exercises for the lower body. Um, we're going to go through them twice, and it's going to be one minute per exercise. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate the upper body circuit, uh, and then we'll warm up and dive on in. So for our upper body, we're going to do uh, nothing super technical today. The goal is more on focusing on sustainability, building strength, really working through the whole minute of the exercise uh, than doing anything super crazy and fancy. So the first exercise is just our upward wrist curls, getting into the form. You know that one. After that, we're doing the tricep extension. We're going to do the bicep curl. Then we're doing a hand hover to plank. So I come down onto my floor space. I hover my hands, press up slowly into plank, come back down, hover, press back up. Um, and then last up, we have a forearm plank walk up. So we come into our forearm plank. We walk it all the way up as high as we can and all the way back down into forearm plank. Okay. So those are our five exercises. Let's do a brief warm up. Three moves, 30 seconds each, just to get ourselves awake and kicking. So the first one, let's dive on in together, our shoulder cars, also known as circles, with the left arm. So go ahead and take the right arm across the body. First 30 seconds, we go all the way up. Rotate all the way back and around. Leading with a thumb, straight up. Rotate, pinky finger, comes back and around. So we're going to work through this. We'll do the other side. We have 30 seconds of inchworm, and then we'll get into our core five exercises. Good, and as you're doing this, I'll drop to my knees so you can see. Really keep that arm nice and straight. Fully pull the arm at least in line with the ear, if not further back, as you bring it around and through. Last 10 seconds. Good. And see if you can give me one more for five. Four, three, and two. Let's jump right into the other side. Straight up, leading with the thumb. Pull it in line with the ear, if not further back. Pinky finger, lead, rotate around and through. And I'll do the side profile. A little bit easier to follow. And the reason I keep my other arm across my body is because I want to do this without letting my body shift and wiggle. So really targeting the arm, opening up the shoulder socket. Kind of like a backstroke for swimmers. Last 10. Good. And five. Four, three, and two. Awesome. Last 30 seconds. Coming to the back of your workspace. Walking out. Walking back in. Big reach up and overhead. Inchworms, go for it. Jump on in. You can go fast. You can go slow. We're just doing this to get everything awake and moving. Today we're going to be moving, I'd say medium pace. Uh, speed is entirely up to your discretion today. Nice. Wake up those arms or shoulders. Last 10. And one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come on up. All right. So we're awake. We are here. It is Monday. We're ready to do some hard work. Uh, making sure to restart your cycle. If it has stopped or paused, sometimes my cycle stops in the middle of the exercise. And I always want to make sure that I'm going. All right. Getting everything set up here. Cool. All right. So starting with upward wrist curls, Hands come down by the sides. Uh, I'd recommend going a little bit slower for these and instead of just kind of flipping up, really working through range of motion nice and slow. Uh, but whatever your preference is, one minute, time starts now. Pulling the back of the wrist up and releasing. And you can always make this a smaller range of motion should you choose, like down half an inch, up half an inch to really target those muscles and make it even more challenging. Woo. We got a little like shadow self behind me today. I'll have to figure out how to get rid of that. <laughs> Good. 
And as you're doing this, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, we don't want to let the elbows bend at all. So really targeting the forearm. Nice. Now I'm at about a medium pace. That's just what feels good for me today. If you need to move fast, move fast. If you need to move slower, smaller movements, that's great too. Last 10 seconds. Then we're going to go right into tricep extension. So we're going through our full circuit once, and then we're going to do it again. Give me five, four, three, two. Bend those elbows. I bend my knees to find a nice flat back. Get this guy out of the way. One minute tricep extension. I'd recommend extending out little bend in fully out little bend in yes and see if you can find that resistance we have a full minute yeah leading with the pinky finger get those arms all the way up and up and i'm going to come down and see who's on our workout today good nice looks like some people are working out outside which makes me really happy i might try that this week as well great Ah, Kayleen, good to see you. It's been a minute. <laughs> Adam's on as well. How exciting. What a good day. All right. Good. Half done. Out. Out. Good. If you want to move faster, go for it. Now's your chance. We've got 20 seconds left. Good. Extend. Push. Push. Mm-hmm. Last 10, see if you can shorten that range of motion. Micro movements, really engaging the triceps. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, right into bicep curls, elbows in. Grab your imaginary set of weights. Doing our best not to let the forearms drop below 90 degrees, keeping the biceps engaged the whole time. One minute, here we go. Up, release. And I like to find not only the resistance as we pull the arms towards the body, but also resisting on the way down. So using the bands and our own body weight to make the exercise even harder. Good, pulling up and pulling back down. You got two rubber bands coming from your shoulders. You're pulling them away from the body. Great. Good, nice straight spine. And the same options apply here. Maybe you want to shorten the range of motion, little baby curls, making them even more challenging. Or maybe you want to speed it up. That's part of the beauty is we can play with this here. Mm -hmm. Last 25 seconds. Starting to see some veins, some muscles working. I love it. Ooh, there we go. Last 10. All right. We have five, four, three two, and rest. We made it through our first three exercises. Now we're gonna come down onto the mat for the hand hover to plank. These ones I encourage taking a little bit slower. So making our way all the way down onto our stomach and rooting the hands about under the shoulders. I hover my hands off the mat, press them back down, and as slowly as you can, press all the way up into plank, come all the way back down. Give me that hover, press up, and come back down. One minute, we are going. And as you're doing this, we want to keep the body nice and flat, so not letting the hips sag. If that means that you do this on your knees, that's fine. And let's see if we can make it even slower. So give me that hover, pressing up for five, four, three, two, come down five, four, three, Two, good, keep going. Super great. Awesome gang, half done. And if you wanna come down for a count of 10 and press up for a count of 10, even better. Work through that range of motion using every single muscle in the body to help get us up and down and keep that nice flat position. Awesome, last 20 seconds. Looks great, Jeff. Oh. Strong Monday practice. Kayleen didn't skip a beat, girl. Five, four, one more, three, two, and one. So we're already down, making our way onto our forearms. Stepping back into forearm plank. We'll take a rest after this round. Rooting the elbows underneath the shoulders. One minute, start to walk, walk, walk yourself up as high as you can go. 
and walk yourself back out. Mm -hmm. Walk it all the way up, getting the feet as close to the elbows as possible, really weighting those shoulders and walking back out into it. And the beauty of this exercise, keep it up, is that we're also getting a nice hamstring stretch in there as well. Yeah. So it takes a little bit more patience to walk the feet up higher, but our whole body gets to benefit. Awesome, Jim. Good, nice, Bonnie. And see if you can do this keeping the legs straight the whole time. I know that makes it a little more challenging, maybe a lot more challenging. Awesome. Last 30 seconds, we are half done. You're walking up as high as you can, walking back down. And if you need to take a pause in forearm plank, that's fine. Better to pause and stay working than to give up entirely. Keep getting stronger. We're building it. Mm -hmm. 15 more seconds. Yeah. Last 10. See if you can do two more. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Stay down on your forearms. A few rounds of lumbar cat cow. So we're working into our lower back. As you inhale, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, pull the navel to spine, round out. Give me three more. Inhale, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, round the spine. Last one, find that lift, spinal extension. Pull the navel in. And then make your way back up to stand for our second round of our circuit. <laughs> so we're doing a little different round today than we normally do with our multiple exercises in a row um, of the same exercise, just to keep things a little spicy. You know, we gotta switch it up. So first exercise of the day, we have our upward wrist curls. Uh, for this round, I would encourage, encourage slower movements smaller movements. So one minute time starts now. See if you can never fully straighten the arms out. So you keep a little bend in the wrist and you just work up, up, up. So there's always a crease there and that forearm muscle is constantly engaged the entire time. And lucky us today, we don't have a cardio set this, this, uh, this week. Yeah, right. Today, this is our work. It's just our circuit. Good. But we do have a full minute. Good. Don't let those hands fully drop. Pull them up. Uh, micro movements, maybe even slower. That's fine. Half done. Whew. And I do apologize about my shadow. We'll work on that lighting. Awesome. Last 20 seconds. Pull those shoulders down. Mm -hmm. Now see if you can pull your wrists all the way up, hold them there. Baby pulses at the top. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and oh my goodness, shake it out. All right, next up, tricep extension. And the nice thing about doing different exercises, we can jump right from one to the next because we're working different muscles. Give me a little bend in the knees to get a flat back so we have more range of motion. Now, we don't want to start here. We want to start here, fully engaging the whole time. Here we go. One minute. Press. Press. Resist out. Resist in. Resist out. Resist in. Yes. And something, actually, I know exactly what it was that we did last week. We did tricep dips on Wednesday and I felt it. I was like on the trail and I was like, oh man, my triceps are sore. And I was like, that was our workout. Awesome, pulling in, press out, pull in, extend out. See if you can make that range even smaller. Yes, 20 more seconds. Out, fully extending, pinky fingers up, reach, reach, uh-huh. All right, now we're gonna do that same little pulse we did with our wrist curls for the last 10 seconds. Extend out as much as you can, little lift, straight arms pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Give me eight, seven, smaller, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quick tricep extension. Uh, mm, that was a tricep extension. Quick tricep stretch. Switch it up. 
And it's time for bicep curls, the same thing, smaller movements. So this should be our largest range of motion. If you can, make it even smaller. So from here to here, and maybe even slower. One minute, here we go. So I'm pulling something towards my body. I'm pulling something away. Pulling something in, pulling something out. Really resisting the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really letting my forearms barely drop even below 45 here. And we've also got that pulse at the end. Good, pulling in. Pulling out, squeeze your fist, squeeze your core, engage everything half time. Woo, feel it. And out. Resist in, resist out. Last 15. Good. All right. Pull those fists in. Last 10 seconds. Baby pulses in. In. Give me eight, seven. All you got. Six, five, four. Three, two, and rest. Bicep stretch, clasp the hands, lengthen the arms down the back of the body. We've got our last two exercises for the upper body. And today it is a race, but it is a reverse race for our hand hovers to plank. I would like you to challenge yourself and see how slowly you can press yourself up into plank. Now I know this is kind of depends on the person because we count at different paces but see how slow you can go and we're going to report back to the group to see how long we can take to go from hand hover to plank i want to see like eight seven six five you've got the idea all right so pick a number run with it come all the way up into plank come all the way back down as slowly as you can Hover those hands right back up. Time's going. We're already 10 seconds in. Woo. Nice, Diane. The form looks great on these guys. Everyone has a nice flat body. We're not compensating, dipping the hips or sagging. We're working through the range of motion to really challenge our chest, challenge our shoulders, our triceps. Fantastic. Making my Monday. Good. Last 25 seconds. Maybe you only do two more of these in this time. You're moving so slow and working so hard. Not to say that everyone's not working hard. You're all doing great. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to take our last 10 and we're going to lower halfway down and hold it. So lower halfway down, hold it, hold it, hold it. Give me 10, 9, 8, Seven, you've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees. Quick shoulder stretch. Walk the arms forward, sticking your tailbone up into the air. Good job. All right. Final exercise. Of course, we're going to do something special at the end, but it's going to be a surprise. Make your way down onto your form. Walk back into forearm plank. 50 seconds of walking up and walking back down. Time is rolling. Let's do it. The last 10, we're going to walk all the way up and do a little something special. And after this, we'll take our bands off, switch them out, and have the question of the day. Home stretch of our work. Woo, really get those feet up there. I know I'm a broken record, but it'll help open up the body for what we're about to do with our leg band. Amazing. Sometimes it's baby steps. Yes, it's awkward. That's why we do it, so we can go stronger. Good. I just see people's hips kind of bobbing up and down, half done. Awesome. I love it. Maybe you can even Get those feet one inch away from the elbows. All right, last 10, then we're gonna walk up and hold it. So go ahead and start to walk your feet up towards your elbows and hold. 10 seconds, lifting alternating legs off the floor. Give me nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two and one. Kick up in the forearm stand. Just kidding. Drop the knees. Come on up. Roll the shoulders out. All right. That was it. We did our upper body work. Let's go ahead and swap out our bands. Pop on the leg ones and have the question of the day. Oh boy. What should our question of the day be? <laughs> Ah, let's see. What is one thing that you've done in your life that you never thought would be possible for you to do, but you achieved it? One thing that you've done in your life, never would have thought possible, but you did it. I want to hear answers. Especially if John's on, on here, I want to hear what John's answer. <laughs> I don't know if he's here today. I think he is. All right. John, yes. I knew he'd come with a good one. English Channel. John, are you saying you swam the English Channel? <laughs> That's so cool. Well, now that John's answered, it's really hard for anyone to, wow, John swam the English Channel. That's pretty epic. What else we got? Steve says, ran up Mount Fuji in Japan. Maybe it was a slow jog. Still pretty epic. That's tough stuff. <laughs> it took him over 12 hours. Are we talking about John swimming the English Channel? That's so cool. This might be a um, this might be a dumb question. I'm guessing you wear a, do you wear a wetsuit when you do that? I I don't know. No, you don't wear a wetsuit. No, you're just like oh man, wow, really cool. All right. Oh, not a Navy SEAL, of course not. What am I thinking? Sorry. <laughs> John swimming the English Channel. Steve. Ram slash a little bit of jog up Mount Fuji. Uh, anyone else? We gotta have at least one or two other things. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be an athletic thing either. Uh, for me, I would say mine would be starting my own business as a fitness instructor. I worked at a computer for six years and never would have guessed this would have been possible. So <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Mary says, took a trapeze class. That's really cool. They have that, something like that here down in Santa Monica, and I always have seen it and wanted to check it out. Anyone else? One thing you never thought you'd do, but you accomplished. All right, I'll take it. Oh, Adam, Liberty to Liberty Triathlon, Statue of Liberty to the Liberty Bell. Really cool. Didn't even know that was a thing. And Diane says, Backpack the John Muir Trail. Yes, I was just looking at the John Muir Trail today for my next trip. I'll have to get recommendations. Guys, these are fantastic. Steve asked, how far is that? I don't know if he's talking about the Liberty to Liberty, the John Muir. The John Muir goes from about, yeah, I could be wrong. I think it's like roughly Sequoia to uh, Yosemite around there, but Diane can correct me. All right, okay, I'm getting all excited now. I'm gonna sit here chatting all day. Uh, let's get our leg bands on. If you had not had water yet throughout this process, drink now, please stay hydrated, take a big sip. All right, so we've got 30 seconds of good morning, butt kicks, and hip circles to wake everything up. First 30 seconds, hands on the shoulders, good morning, let's do it. Down and up. So today we're not having the most cardio intensive workout. But I know that a lot of you have done these workouts enough that you're able to kind of choose whether you want a faster pace minute or whether you want a more strength based, slower pace, uh, lesser range of motion minute. So today is one of those kind of choose your own adventure days. Good. And just a little refresher when we move slower, work through a smaller range of motion, we're able to build a little bit bulkier muscle than when we move faster and work into a leaner space. Good, last 10. Nice flat back, leading with the belly button. One more good one, five, four, three, and two. So let's open up the quads, some butt kicks. If you wanna take these slow, you can. We're doing 30 seconds. Or if you wanna like pick up the pace a little bit today, you can do that as well. Just waking everything up. Good. I'm gonna jog it out, why not? It's only 30 seconds. <laughs> Then we're gonna do some hip circles, and then we have our five lower body exercises. Good, last 10. 
and five, four, three, and two. Step the legs nice and wide. Circle around one direction. Make them really big. Get into everything. Hips and spine. Cool. And after this next one, move around the other direction to round out the second half of our 30 seconds. King, I have to say, got some pretty cool accomplishments here. And I'm not surprised that all of them are related to physical fitness in some way or another. That seems to be something we're all pretty into. Last five, four, three, and two. All right. So our five lower body exercises, very simple, not uh, technically challenging. We have heel raises, one minute. One minute of Cossack squat, side to side. Then we're doing lunges, good old fashioned, just forward lunges. Then we have a bear hold. So we don't only do isometric or static exercises. Today we're doing that. We're coming into our bear position and we're just gonna hold here for one whole minute. You can absolutely do it. And last up, we have air squats, down and up. All of these, with the exception of the bear hold, we can work into to make faster, slower, bigger range of motion, less range of motion. So let's explore that together. First minute, heel raises. We are rolling up and down. If you want to make these more challenging, you can do two things. One, speed, fast, fast, fast. Two, smaller range of motion. Do not let your heel touch the ground. Lower down, resist up. Resist down, resist up. I tend to think that the second option, lower, smaller, is harder. Good. <laughs> awesome. And whichever variation you're doing, try not to let the heels touch. Why not? Get the balance going as well as the calves are working. Woo! Feeling it. Good. Last 25 seconds. See if you can make your move even smaller, like everything we've done for the last 10 seconds of this exercise. We're going to pulse and make it really difficult. Mm hmm. So in five, I want you to lift up as high as you can. Three, two, lift those heels up. Baby pulses, give me 10. Nine, eight, seven, even higher. Six, five, four, whoa, three, two, and lower down. Four, three, two, great. Let's go right into our contact squat. Step the feet nice and wide. Get really low into that range of motion, pressing into the heels to come back up. One minute, let's go for it. All the way down, press up, all the way over to the other side, press up. What you can also do is work only into one side for 30 seconds and only into the other side for the other 30. Your choice. You can also go faster. And I really believe that exercise is not a one size fits all. Uh, to some degree, you have to figure out what works best for you and what you're realistically gonna do. <laughs> Good. All right, so we are half done. So if you're doing one side, start to work into the other little pulses. If you're going side to side, keep doing exactly what you're doing, but see if you can get even lower each time, if you're needing more of a challenge, arms up. <laughs> and if your arms are up, take that bend out of your elbows. All right. Now we're going to work into the left side in five, four, three, two. Everybody down, pulse it. Give me six, five, lower, four, three, two. Switch sides over to the right. Get low. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Sip of water. Then we're going to do our lunges. Got to stay hydrated. Got to sing about staying hydrated. All right. Lunges. So we're doing our minute. Same thing applies. You can go fast. Lunge. 
lunge. As long as your back knee is on or towards the floor, I'm happy. None of this, none of that. Lunge, a real lunge. If you want an extra challenge today, 30 seconds, hovers, 30 seconds, other side, okay? Or you can do regular lunges. Let's go, one minute. If you want even more of a challenge, hands behind the head. Good. Cool, let's see how we're doing. Oh, so great. Awesome. I like seeing different people doing the different things. Kayleen, nice with the hands behind the head. It makes it harder, it makes it more balanced. Actually. Jim, looks good. Everyone looks great. Sophia and Sydney, good. Oh, those pulses are wild. All right, we are half done. So if you're doing the single side, switch it up. Woo, good. And one thing I want us to make sure of is that we're not letting our front knee shoot too far over the front ankle. So if you're doing that, that means you need to bend more into the back leg instead of doing this. Just something to be mindful of. We don't want to weight our knees too much. All right, in 10 seconds, we're going to step the right foot forward and hover the left knee off the mat. Give me five, four, three, two. Hover that left knee down, pulse it. Yeah, seven, six, squeeze your butt, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. Left foot forward, right foot back, hover it down. Touch or almost touch the floor. Straight spine, check your front knee. Six, five, four, three, two, and step out of it. Kick it out, good job. One minute of bear. Working the quads, we're working the hamstrings, we're working our own mental capability to just hang out in one spot and not move, okay? So making your way down into the mat, we'll grab a sip of water after this. Nice form. Shoulders over wrist, hips over knees, tuck those toes. One minute, bare position, hold it. And I don't know if we've ever actually done one minute of just holding something. So it's kind of cool. We can chit chat about things. Let's see. Hmm. English Channel, trapezing, John Muir Trail, <laughs> running a man What haven't we done? Triathlon? Strong team. All right. We're 35 seconds left to go. <laughs> Not easy stuff. Now, drop your knees even lower. There we go. No piking. Get those knees even lower. Keep the 90 degree angle in your knees. We have 25 more seconds. You can do it. Strong arms, strong legs. If you're shaking, good. You're getting stronger. Last 10. Mm hmm All right. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Press your hips up and back. Ooh, feel that release. And walk your feet up. Let's come up for our last exercise of the circuit. I kind of like the isometric hold. We might have to incorporate more of those into our work. All right. Air squats. Step the feet hips distance apart. Easiest variation of these is how we use our arms, like so. If you want harder, hands behind the head. Hardest, arms straight up. Your choice, one minute, we're rolling. Now, a way to make these harder is you can either go faster or you can pull into it. Play with smaller range of motion, slower movement, your choice. Oh, looks great. Looks so good. I'm gonna get really nitpicky and say, if you have your arms up overhead, try and take the bend out of your elbows if you can. <laughs> Woo! Mm -hmm. Awesome, Diane. I'm seeing some pulsing going on, the strength stuff. Great job. Sophia and Sydney, you guys got your hands back. I like it. It's funny, any kind of exercise, technically, when you put your hands behind your head, in the workout world, they call it prisoners. So I guess these would be prisoner squats. I don't know. 
Good, half done. If you're going for the pulse, don't stop. If you're not going for the pulse, don't stop. Everyone drop your butt even lower. Now we're talking. Good. Burn those glutes, those quads out. That's what we're going for. Mm -hmm. All right. In five, we're going to drop into it and we're going to hold. Three, two, one. Drop into it. Hold it at the very bottom. Give me 10. Nine. Lower. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, squeeze it, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, circle it out. All right, we're going through that one more time, and then we'll call it a day. All right, first up, water. I promise water after our bear, grab a sip. All right, now we're talking. <laughs> Heel raises. For this round, I'd like to encourage everyone to keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Work down an inch, up an inch. So try the more challenging variation. Our brain knows what we're doing. So let's let our body work a little bit harder to gain that strength. One minute, heels up. Here we go. Yeah. If you want to make it even more challenging, Arms forward, even more challenging, arms up. And now we're also working all the stabilizer muscles that are helping us balance. Ooh, there we go. Good, see if you can go even slower, move it down. Two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, yes. Woo, 20 more seconds. Mm -hmm. If your arms are up, make sure your arms are really up. Engage your core, engage your glutes. In five, we're going to lift to the top and pull. Three, two, little pulses at the very top. Get those heels all the way up. Give me eight, seven, ooh, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Lower down, four, three, two, rest. Good. All right, step it wide. Cossack squats. If you want to go side to side, go side to side. I would encourage you to try the 30 seconds and the other 30 seconds. Something to be mindful of is I'm not doing this. My chest is up. I have a straight spine. I'm pressing my butt back and down, not just over, okay? One minute, your variation, either side to side or Pulse it on one side the whole time. <laughs> yes. Great. Mm -hmm. If you want the extra challenge, one or two. Yeah, there we go. Good, we are half done. If you want to switch to the other side, go for it. Fantastic, Kayleen. Ooh, there we go. Get even lower. Everybody get even lower. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And we're going to hold at the very bottom on this set. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds of movement, then we're just going to drop into it, hold and squeeze over to the right. Give me five, four, three, Two, over to the right, hold it, keep sinking lower and lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Get low, even lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and press up. Lunges, option, take the full range of motion, forward, and switch, checking those front knees, or you can pulse it out, okay? If you're pulsing it out, start with the right foot forward. One minute, time starts in three, two, one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Good, if you're doing a pulse, get your back knee down even lower. Make it so that it's such a small movement. It's almost an isometric hold. It's so tiny.
Woo, there you go. Knees even lower, back knees down. All right. Good. Ah, oh, no comments. Everyone who I can see doing it is doing it right. We are half done. Switch. If you're doing the single leg, we're rolling. Get that back knee even lower. Chest up. Check the front knee. Yeah. There we go. And on this round, we're going to do an actual isometric hold at the bottom. So in five, you're going to drop that back knee down as low as you can and hold. Get that back knee down. Cover it off the ground. Hold and squeeze. Get it even lower, but don't let it touch. Six, five, four, three, two. Switch sides. Woo, chest up, knee down, hold and squeeze. Your knee should barely be touching the floor. Keep it there. Six, five, lower, four, three, two, and come on up, kick it out. All right, two more, one whole minute of bare hold. And we're just holding that one. So there's no extra work to do at the bottom. Then we have our air squats and we will round out our day with a bit of core. Nothing too crazy and a quick strike. Everyone make your way down, hands and knees. All right, we ready? Let's go for it. Tuck those toes, get those knees barely off the floor and hold it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you just need more of a challenge here, this just isn't enough. Alternating hamstring curls, but I don't want your knees to lift any higher off the floor. Curl. Curl, yes, drop those knees even lower. Curl, good, keep holding. And sometimes this holding is even harder, so play with all of it, see what happens. Woo, all right, get those knees even lower. Feel that burn. Mm -hmm. We are half done. My goodness. <laughs> Strong Monday work all right we've got 20 more seconds don't give up now get those knees even lower to the ground mm -hmm. using the core to help support last 10 then we're going to press the hips up and back for a hamstring stretch get even lower give me five four three two and one press your hips up and back give the legs a paddle and walk the hands back to meet the feet to come up to stand. Final exercise for the lower body. Your choice, either the air squat or the squat pull, okay? We are all going to hold at the bottom for 10 seconds no matter what. So whatever path you choose to take, we're meeting at the same place. 50 seconds of active work, here we go. You can also do hands behind the head or you can do arms up. Choosing your range of motion. Yes. Chest up, nice straight spine. Awesome, George. Great work. Mm -hmm. Now let's all make sure that just like with our lunges, we're not overweighting our knees, especially if we have the arms up. Weight is back. A good way to make sure you're doing this right is lift your toes off the floor. It's really hard to do this when these are up. Mm -hmm. We are half done. If you're pulsing the whole time, things are gonna be burning. That's great. Woo, there we go. Nice. All right, in 10, we're gonna hold at the bottom and just squeeze it out. Mm -hmm. I'll meet you guys there in five, four, three, Two, hold it, squeeze. Just hold. Mm -hmm. Give me eight, seven, lower, six, five. It's like a wall sit. Four, three, two, and one. Everybody up to stand, rock it out. Keeping the feet wider than hips distance, hinge forward, flat back. Come up to stand. Two more, hinge forward. You have your cape, flat back. Rise on up, last one, hinge and hold it. Keep reaching your cape, your fingertips away from the body, drop lower into it for five, four, three, 
two, come on up to stand. Time for that core work. Come on down to sit. All right, so we've been doing things that are range of motion and then playing with different ranges of motion to make it harder. So we're gonna do that for our core as well. The exercise is an in and out seated crunch, okay? The work at the end is gonna be a pulse, knees into the chest. But your job is not to round out here, it's to find the straight spine and crunch, crunch, okay? So we have a full minute, this is all we're doing, let's go, out, pull it in. Try not to let your feet touch. Out, in. And as you come up, we're not slouching. We have a straight spine using the core to get the legs into the chest. Ooh, you want to make it harder? Extend your arms straight up. <laughs> awesome. We want to keep our spine off the floor the whole time, ideally. Yes. I see some people working really slowly through this, and I love that. That's what I want to see, is we're taking our time and really keeping the spine straight and working the muscle instead of just flinging our bodies around. All right, we got 20 more seconds of active movement, so keep doing your thing, out and in, and then we're going to go for that contraction to hold. I'm going to dive in with you. And last 10. Good. Everybody pull your knees in and hold. Hold it, grow nice and tall, a little pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, straight arms if you're going there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the legs out, take the forward fold. Mm -hmm. All right, roll on up to sit. Hands back behind you, spine stretch, lift the chest. And to come up today, we're gonna rock and roll our way up to sit and ideally up to stand. This is something we've been playing with on mobility days and we're gonna keep playing with it today. So the way I do this is I come onto my back, I pull my knees in, same way we were doing with that crunch. I either rock and roll up to sit, level one, or even better, I rock and roll all the way up to stand. So take 10 seconds and play with it. It might take you a couple rocks. What I'd like to see you try is doing this without having your hands on the floor. Woo, we'll all meet standing in five, four, three, and two. Everyone come on up. Nice wide-legged stance. Take your right hand to your right side. Bring your left arm up and over, stretching your lap. Good. If your arm is bent, reach it out, extend, really make the most of the stretch. Relax the head. And switch sides, up and over, other way. Take any bend out of the elbow that you can, relax your head. Breathe. And come back through center. Clasp the hands, reach the base of the palms up, shoulders stretch, press, 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 press. And release the hands, bring them together. Give yourself a round of applause. Strong Monday work, of course, because we did this type of circuit on Monday. We're not gonna do it again this week. Tomorrow will be something different, something challenging, and we'll do great. Good job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go Gator.